So I literally have about three weeks before I go to Florida to literally go on vacation because since I'm doing my surgery in June, I pretty much am canceling out my summer. So just to kind of make myself feel better, especially because I have a four-year-old daughter and I want her to be able to enjoy summer as well, I decided to go to Florida one week before the surgery so that I can go like on a vacation. So I rented out an Airbnb. We have a nice pool in the house and there's the beach right nearby. So I'm basically going to go on vacation for eight days and I don't want to be thinking about what i need except for faja since i am going to be near miami i want to go to miami and buy the fajas in person so some supplies i might buy while i'm there but the majority the majority of what i need i wanted to have ready when i am already going there so i can have everything packed and my mind can be a little bit more at ease because i also want to enjoy the vacation because after the surgery, I'm gonna be like down and out for probably at least three to four weeks. I do wanna go back to Florida maybe in August for another mini vacation. I'll still be healing, but at least for my daughter to enjoy and also for me to do like post-op visits with the doctor. So that's my plan. Um, and that's one tip for doing surgery in the summer. But let's get into shop with me. So I have my Amazon already pulled up. And I, like I said, I have a lot of stuff already in my saved, like saved for later section. I'm not used to doing it on the laptop. I kind of always shop on my phone, but hopefully I can try to figure this out. I have a supply list that I wrote down nearby, but um, let me try to get my saved for later area going. So my... Amazon cart is kind of weird because I'm always looking at different things that I want to buy. So as you can see, I was looking for a mini vlogging kit. I apologize ahead of time if you see anything like X-rated that belongs to my OnlyFans content supply needs. Um, but yeah, aside from that, my should be pretty clean. But I did want to get a vlogging kit just in case I don't want to use my camera necessarily while I'm out there. And my phone still does decent quality, so I was thinking maybe since I'm going to be hurt and vlogging, it would be good to kind of have a vlogging kit. And I found one at the Apple store, but it was like $200. This one is $80, so I think I'm going to get it. I have not decided yet. Um, Panoxo Foaming Acne Wash I heard was really, really good for your underarms, so that's why I have that here. So these are my saved for later items. So, let me just delete that. I got more Panax, so let me delete that. Okay, so now, here we go. So, Arna Care is going to be really good for, like, your bruising and your swelling. So, I'm going to get some Arna Care. I do want the gel and I do want the tablets. Which one is this? So, as we see, it's $13.84. Okay, so this is the gel. I'm mad slow right now. This is the gel. So I'm just going to add this to the cart. It's a pack of two. And then they have the Arnica tablets as well. So let me see. 120 tablets. And these just go right under your tongue and they kind of just dissolve. $19. Damn, that's expensive. You can already see how this is going to add up. But I'm glad to be doing this together because shit is serious. Surgery is no joke. That's that. I wanted to see this Arnica gel right here. The other one was $13 for a pack of two. This is $44 for one container. 16 ounces. Thyme and menthol. Menthol. I'll probably get this at a later date, but not right now. That's pretty expensive. But I am curious as to why it's so much more. I guess it's probably the number of ounces. Damn. 
By the way, if you saw that fogger and that raid, my father's a landlord and I shop for the different properties that he owns. So those are for like our houses. We live in the Bronx. Okay, so let me go back to the cart. So this one has a high rating as well. 1.5 ounces, pack of two. Okay, so that's why the other one is so much more expensive. But I'm just going to get these for now just to get me by in the beginning stages. And then later on, I'll buy some more. So what else? So let me scratch that. Okay, no, nah, whatever. Um, so now there's the avocado float, which as we see is $22.99. And I really was about to get it. And I still might get it just to take with me to Florida. But I want to show you this canoe that I bought that is a show that and the price um but this just to have it like not inflated and i already have it in florida and then i don't know if i'll bring it back with me yeah i guess i'll bring it back with me so i don't know i don't know for now should i add it to the cart i don't know what to do i'm gonna add it to the cart I'm going to add it to the car and I'm going to take it with me to Florida. Already we're at $168. This is going to be insane. I'm going to add everything I possibly think of to the car and then we'll do like a review beforehand and see what I have to take out because, you know. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> so we have this donut pillow and I got, I wanted to get this for the toilet. But I don't think, I don't know if I should. Hemorrhoid pillow, donut cushion. I don't think it would really help me all that much. And then it's fabric, so I don't want that on the toilet. So I'm going to just for now not get that. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just not going to get it. Now the wedges, I really do want them and they're actually pretty affordable. You could probably find these cheaper and do like a DIY in like Walmart or Target or something like that and just get the wedges on your own. But for $63, I don't think it's really that bad. But like I said, right now I do have that BBL canoe, so I don't think I really need this. Now, <clears throat> the reason why this would be super important is because this would help your back stay elevated your legs stay elevated which means that there's no pressure on your butt but at the same time because you had the tummy tuck you can't lay on your back so you're not trying to put pressure you're not trying to put um you're not trying to lay flat on your stomach and you're not trying to lay flat on your back which means that you're kind of shit out of luck in terms of comfort so the wedges kind of help you not stay straight because you don't want to extend your tummy tuck scar but it also keeps the pressure off of your butt so wedges are really really great but again i think my bbl canoe replaces the need for 14.99 and as you can see your thighs can rest on this black cushion and your butt will stay elevated and you can poop and pee in peace so add that to the cart, boom, boom. All right, what else? What else? Oh, there's the, okay, we might be jumping. There's the BBL pillow, hold on. Where's my cart? I wanna stay in that screen. Okay, so I might take out, no, the pen axle I'm gonna leave and the vlogging kit. I don't know yet. I'll decide after. Okay, so let's see what else. I added the Arnica. Okay. So now next up I saw were these disposable no rinse bath wipes. After you get a tummy tuck and a BBL, you can't really shower right away and you're going to feel really icky, especially because you'll be bleeding all over the damn place. So just to kind of be sanitary and still somewhat feel refreshed because you're going to be stuck relaxing. You're not going to want to be relaxing in discomfort um so i was thinking i would get these rinse free bath sponges dry without shampoo or rinsing only nine dollars so i'm just gonna get one pack
Sorry, my phone was the other phone. Okay, sorry. Disregard that. Okay, so I'm gonna get one pack. I'm sorry, I spaced out. Where am I going? I don't want a thingy one-time purchase. Sorry, I spaced out for a second. Hold on. And because I'm doing like two screen recordings, I don't want to stop the audio. Okay, so add to cart. All right, so let's go back to the cart. I need an air conditioner because it's so hot here. Okay, so this is a muscle roller, $13.99. I'm gonna get this because I want to make sure that I have the best results possible. And that's going to be for me to keep massaging the area so that there's no like fibrosis or necrosis. And I'm like constantly massaging and making sure that my skin gets nice and smooth without having to necessarily wait for like an official lymphatic massage. So I'm going to get that not too expensive. what else this is another no rinse body bath that i had in my cart from before i'm not gonna get that because i already got the wipes the no rinse sponge and this is actually more expensive so chill out i'm not trying to spend more money silicone scar removal sheets an absolute must 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 move to cart boo boo move to cart that was only 12.99 Sorry, I was going back and forth so much before. You guys were probably like having OCD. This is a quick air pump. And I think I need this for the avocado float. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need this for the float. Move to cart. This lingerie I do not need. Here is the BBL pillow, $80. So this comes with the back support and then the BBL pillow itself. And it's in black, which love that because I'm going to be bleeding. So let me add to cart. Okay, Ooh. okay, so now what's this? Waterless shampoo, currently unavailable. I should have got it when I had the chance. I think that might be all the BBL supplies that I had already like lined up. Okay, perfect. So now let's do the actual shopping. So what else do I need on here? So a urinal. for women um this is eight dollars is kind of cool but then i have to empty that thing out i guess that's kind of cool if i didn't want to get out of bed at all but i think i need some exercise so i'm gonna go with the one that says best seller and just get that So this and the lipo foams, okay, let me get this. So damn, this is $22. Okay, I'm not going to get it just yet because I think I already have one from my previous BBL. So I'm going to find it before I go and add this to my cart. Lipo foam, I know I need. So that's a three pack. I'm gonna just start with the three pack and then add another one later on as needed. The ab board, you can get this whole kit as you can see for $49.97. Yeah, for $49.97, but I think I also have this. This is the ab board and the back board and whatever that is, I'm not sure. Um, so you will need this, but I still think I have that. So I'm going to skip that for now. Compression socks. I know I'm going to need compression socks. Let me just make sure I'm recording.
my father is here outside and I, his voice is so loud. It travels through the whole neighborhood. Okay, so comp compression socks. I'm gonna try to see, let's see. Oh, they got some cute ones, but then the cute ones with the designs are more expensive and I don't think I necessarily care about being cute. Um, I just want some basic ass black. Four pairs right here for $9. We're gonna go with that. Fuck that. All right, we're also gonna need, all right, so I got the urinal wash foams. I already told you guys the Fajas I'm going to be buying in Miami, so I'm not gonna be ordering those online. Add them backward. Okay, mattress covers. Oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's go with the queen. Is it going to be a full? I think it's going to be a queen. Let's just go with queen. I think the mattress is going to be full size, but mine is queen size and I'm taking that baby with me. So full size will still fit a queen size will still fill it fit a full size. Um, and it's just plastic. So I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money on this. $15 hypoallergenic waterproof. Girl, all right, I only saw 15 and that's what we're gonna go with. Let's go, okay. Cannot be delivered to a P.O. box. It's okay, we're not gonna deliver to a P.O. box. Okay. What else do I need? I need pads, which I can get at the store. I need wee wee pads, which I can also get at the store. Compression socks, I got. I need Miralax, which I can also get at the store. Miralax, should I just order it here? Let me see. Twenty-four dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna just get this at the store. Okay, and then bromelain, let me see what that is. I know that's something related to pineapple juice. Bromelain. I feel like I can also get this at a store, but I think we're just going to order it right here. One less thing that I have to worry about. I wanted to get the Tylenol PM, but I'm a little bit afraid. I know you're going to need that to help you sleep at night. I personally am a little bit nervous about getting that because I think by self-diagnosis, I'm allergic to naproxen. It has not been confirmed, but anytime I take like Tylenol or something that is for pain, for some reason I react. I know they're going to prescribe me super strong pain meds. My last surgery, they prescribed me Percocets. I was completely fine and I needed them to function for the first like week or so. So I'm okay with taking the perks and then I'll probably, I don't know if I can take like CBD sleeping pills because since I'm going to be quitting smoking, I think I might want CBD to help me relax. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that here, but I do, I am going to have to quit smoking 
um, because you can't smoke leading up to the surgery. You can't smoke any cigarettes. You can't smoke marijuana. You can't smoke before the surgery because it is very, very, it'll cause complications. It's very bad for you. It's very bad for healing and for recovery and just to get through the surgery. So it's not worth taking the chance just to smoke. So I was thinking of getting CBD sleeping pills, but I'm going to wait till I get approval to get that. Um, I did want to order a robe. I have robes here. Let me see how much a cheap robe is on Amazon because I'm going to want to just wear a robe over the Faja while I'm recovering in the hotel. I'm not going to want anything really like shorts, pants, sweatpants, shirts, t-shirts, nothing like that on me. And then I'll be in Florida. So I'm going to want something light. Um, but $87, son of a bit. $24. Okay, that one looks good. And it kind of, it's lightweight. Okay, let's just look at that one real quick. Uh, it comes in black. I'm going to want black. Let me check to see if there is anything cheaper than $24. There's $21. That's a little bit shorter. Maybe I can do that one. Those. Okay, this is $11. But it's shorter i'm just kind of picturing because my brother's going to be helping me recover so i'm trying to picture if that's going to like be seen under me but i'll have the faja on we're gonna be bougie okay let's get a black satin robe right add to cart eleven dollars and i'll just reuse that robe over and over and over again i was gonna get an extra large but you know what let me get a large because i'm gonna be a large by then and i'm sweating right now oh my god okay Whew. okay what else do we need um i want some crocs but i'm gonna order that on the crocs website um knee pads let me see how much knee pads are because i'm not going to be able to sit on my butt and because i'm not going to be able to like um just sit comfortably i wanted to get knee pads just in case i am kneeling a lot i wanted to be comfortable but I honestly probably could just use a pillow, which I think I'm going to do. And if I see a need for them, I'll order these later. So let's not do that. I already got the silicone scar sheets. Let me see how much a binder is, but I might get that when I get the Fajas. Not that kind of binder. Okay. Tummy tuck binder. So they have binders here in black. There's eight of them. Waist trimmer, binder, pulse part, blah, 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 recovery support girdle. $17 and it's in black, which I love because I know I'm going to be bleeding and I'm going to be messy. Everyday medical abdominal binder per surgery. So that's $19, $17, What is the difference? For some reason, I'm just going to go with this one, $17.97, add to cart. Okay, so that's the binder. I have a neck pillow that I'm going to use just to kind of make sure that my neck is comfortable when I'm laying down. It's literally like the neck pillows that you use when you're on the airplane, so I'm not going to get that. Gauze, I can probably order when I'm at the store. So I need gauze. I need... Oh, liquid ivy. Okay, let's see. Liquid ivy. I found this suggestion from, um, what's her name? The Real Nye. I'm probably saying that wrong, but she's a sweetheart and she made a really good video about BBL supplies and she was talking about liquid ivy just to help you stay hydrated and I want to stay hydrated after the surgery. So I'm going to get me some liquid ivy. What flavors do they have here? It's an electrolyte supplement. Um, which one? I always like to pick whatever is on Prime. 
Um, so this is $23.98. Passion fruit. I want lemon. Okay, let's go with the lemon. But that doesn't say liquid ivy. I want liquid ivy. Hold on. Passion fruit, strawberry, acai berry, lemon, lime. Yeah, I want like a lemon lime. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I just want it. One time purchase. So I'm going to get that add to cart. $23.00. Okay, so let me check. They also were talking, she also mentioned the belly button shaper, but she was saying that you can get something cheaper if you use like the shapers that people use to stretch their earlobes. But I'm very weird and freaking stupid and bougie, so I always want to get like the official shit, which I'm going to do. So they got, these are kind of what she was talking about. Silicone double flare plugs, pierced owl. But I think, This one is $19. So I'm just going to get this. I don't know. I like that it has the pushy thing. Like the silicone plugs, I don't think they have the pushy, pushy thing. This one does. This is a real belly button shaper. And this one comes in like a little case. Which I like. Guys, I'm I don't care. You guys are seeing me be literally silly right now. Okay. Um Alcohol pads, peroxide I'm going to get in the store, Benadryl I will get in the store. I think I'm pretty much all caught up, honestly. There's one other thing, but I don't know if they're going to prescribe me it, but it's Zofran. Pay with insurance. Okay, so I think I'm going to get prescription required. Okay, I'll get a prescription for that as well as the other pain meds that they're going to prescribe me. I got to call my surgery coordinator and figure out when they're going to give me the prescription so I can have everything filled and ready to go once I'm after, once I'm recovering from surgery. So that's it. Let's see what the total is. As we can see right here, it is 467. This is just on these supplies. Mind you, I spent, I think, $100 on the BBL bed, which, again, I'll pop in right here. And that's not including my lymphatic massages. And that's not including, what am I going to buy in the stores? I'm going to buy dial soap in the stores. I'm going to buy Crocs. Let me check out some Crocs. Let me finish this first. I'm going to buy some Crocs, which are probably like another $50, I think, minimum. Um clothes so i bought the robe i did want to get some sundresses because i'm going to be in florida so before the vacation i just want to have sundresses i'll wash them before i go into surgery and then i'll just keep wearing sundresses the rest of the summer honestly while i'm healing so they got some affordable ones here So I'll do this after. I'm not going to be picking the sundresses right now. So look at that. Probably I'll spend like another hundred on five or six sundresses that I'll keep in rotation. So this is not even everything and we're at 467. The massages are going to be expensive. You can get them in package deals. The surgery, depending where you go, is going to be expensive. I am not comfortable going overseas. I It took a big leap for me to just go to Florida. And that's within the States. So I'm not going to go overseas for surgery. I just, I can't. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap for this video. This is a little shop with me. I'm going to go ahead and finish up and add everything 
proceed to check out and all of that good stuff and then i'll do like another post op sh i'll do another shop with me if there's anything else that i do end up ordering online but let's just check since i'm here crocs i know i'm gonna order but you can probably buy like cheap sandals um All right, so there you see it, uh, about $50. So I was right on the money with that. Um, I think that's pretty much a wrap. You get the idea, surgery is expensive. If you're not prepared to buy all the extra necessities that you will need that are kind of in the fine print of getting surgery, you don't always think about the post-op needs that you'll be required to get. You don't always think about the cost of medicine. I have vitamins, let me show you my vitamins before we wrap this video up, but all the vitamins and all the prescriptions are gonna come out of pocket because this is an elective surgery. So the vitamins that I have right now that I was already instructed to start taking at least two months prior to surgery are folate. This is a thousand MCG. Um, I currently am taking one a day, but now that I'm approaching the one month prior to surgery mark, I think I'm going to have to increase it. I have to check the surgery instructions, but for now I've just been taking one a day, honestly. So this is folate. Then I have vitamin C with rose hips and then I have iron this one is vitamin code healthy blood 28 milligrams so I think I'm supposed to take two of these um again I'm doing everything one month prior I'll start taking the exact amount but right now I've just been taking one a day to be honest and then I was prescribed vitamin D because my vitamin D counts were low and I was prescribed the antibiotics because I have the UTI and again you really have to clear any infections prior to surgery Another thing I was thinking could be a problem is if you have your period while you're going into surgery, but I found out it is perfectly okay for you to have your period and go into surgery, so do not have to worry about that. That's a wrap for this video. I hope that this video was helpful. Please comment any video suggestions down below, any video topics that you think will be most helpful to you, whether it's regarding my original LiPo 360 and BBL, or if you want more videos regarding the tummy tuck and the Brazilian butt lift revision. Um, I have a Fashion Nova package that I don't know if I should do a try on haul for this channel in my old body, um, but there's lots of exciting videos coming so please make sure you're subscribed to this channel and join the family thank you so much for watching make sure you're following me on my all my other platforms i love you guys bye